what it do youtube world what is good back again y'all know what this station and this channel is all about man battleground of sports talk baby dfw sports raps y'all know how we kicking flavor you see the decor in the background it's the one man forced eyes and flavor of dfw sports being the super fans supercharged around dallas fort worth texas baby y'all know how we get down for all our teams around here man it's been a while since i done came to y'all you know boy been on the grind you know doing doing what he do that type stuff but other than that man it's been been a normal thing just doing his thing and holding firm and still collecting all this uh dfw sports stuff we got going on man no no question we've been up in this thing really going hard you know what i'm saying for real really going hard but it's live game night right now dallas mavericks gets the sacramento kings right now in the top tough one Oh, um, Dante Exum for three. Let's go. Both teams right now basically tied for that sixth spot, that last, you know, non-play-in playoff spot. As Dante Exum gets the charge call, let's go. <laughs> big game right now for the Dallas Mavericks. So it's going to be a big one. Also, the Dallas Stars are right now in, uh, I believe they're in action right now against the San Jose Sharks, only I'm not seeing it come up. So. Supposed to be that type of action. And of course, y'all know it's always on this, you know, on this channel, it's all about some drama. But also, baseball season is getting ready to line up. Rangers getting ready to line up. It's been some news that went down, you know. That we've been on Jordan Montgomery watch for. Oh, uh, and a three. Let's go. Luca Dirty Doncic. Let's go. Mavs up right now. Come on. It's a big one trading threes uh big news came out of rangers camp as jordan montgomery as we was on jordan montgomery watch he didn't sign with the arizona diamondbacks for a one-year 25 million dollar deal so you can kiss that goodbye i mean chris chris young has tried to put some more arms up in here so hey you know we'll see how that goes when it all jump off what's up mr cowboy what's the deal I'm going to have my big bro join here, join me here shortly uh, as we, you know, get our daily wrap on some cowboy talk. You know, it's been a minute since I done hit the airways. Boy, been grinding. But at the same time, I've been peeping what's been going on. And, you know, it's a lot to talk about. It's a lot to digest. Nonetheless, let me get to the end of this first half right now. It's a tight one. Like I said, the Mavs and Kings. Yeah. It's going to be a back. The Mavs are playing off a of back to back. Oh, Luca gets the. Oh, he said, been sick with the flu. Damn, bro. Hopefully everything been good, man. You know, hopefully you've been getting your vitamins and, you know, everything you need to be replenishing up in there, man. So, you, you know, I understand, you know, the Cowboys, if you, that's what you, you heard me on the last time I was here. Man, y'all got to put your minds on something positive. Because if not, man, you, you know, the negativity is going to affect you. So you see with the Cowboys how that type of stuff runs down, man. Damn, lost 10 pounds? Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. Man, get you some more electrolytes up in you. Get, you know, get you some more fluids up in you, man. Get them vitamins up in you, man. Get you some watermelon, you know, watermelon and some lemon and some coconut water. You be all right. You'll shake back. You'll shake back. You'll shake back better if, if the Cowboys were to come out with some more positive news instead of this old dumb stuff. But, man, on real tip, hope you're doing good, bro. Hope you're really doing good. Like I said, uh, Luca hits the free throw. Like I said, we game night right now. I'm going to have my big bro join me here in a second. I'm going to give him the invite. See if he want to join in. Uh. Because it's a lot that we talking about. I know my man, Cowboy Nation, Danny, he be always wanting to jump on. But, you know, I ain't just trying to sit here and talk about the Cowboys like that. Even though we got a lot to talk about. But it's a lot of other stuff to talk about. Uh, rocking down here in the DFW as it's getting postseason time for the Mavericks and the Stars. You have... The Rangers about to get ready to kick this thing off, man. Yeah, yeah. It's going big, man. It's going big, for real. Give me one second. Let me just add my big bro in. See what he got to say on some things. 
but yeah, uh, he said the Cowboys are not making it easy any easier. I feel you, man. That's why I'm trying to shift my focus to everything we got going. You see, I got two towels. You know, I got the Mavs and the Stars rally towel tonight. So I'm trying to, you know, as much as possible, get away from some of this negativity with the Cowboys. But we can't shake it. It is what it is. As we're coming close down to the end of the half. Good job, Der Derek Lively. Let's go. Let's run it, Mavs. Come on. Coming off of back-to-back, -back, I like the energy right now. Like I said, we live game night, live streaming basically right now. And he's supporting the Mavs. That's what's up. That's a big what's up. Oh, we just turned it over. Stop the ball. Chase him off the three. There you go. Oh, he tried to body Luca on that one. Don't help him up, Luca. Don't help him up. Don't help him up. As this game has came on late because the, the Bucks and the Mavs, I mean, the Bucks and the uh, Lakers were in a, a drunk ass game. I think that thing went into uh, what, overtime or something like that? So I had to catch some of this on uh, True TV. Now we're catching it back on TNT. Get out of there. Ball don't lie. Let's go. Mavs up by six right now, matter of fact. So Kyrie, one of your faves, man. I, hey. A lot of people, a lot of people be downing on Kyrie talking about he's a, you know, calling him the basketball version of Terrell Owens, where is he's he's selfish and he, he just breaks the team down. But I just think him being in Dallas is something that's set for him where he likes it down here, man. It's it's comfortable for him down here. The vibes are all ooh, Dante Exum got swatted. The vibes are all mutual. Oh, Kyrie almost got the steal. Oh, but Luca got the steal. And where's the foul? Good job, Luca. Good job, Kyrie. Hey, you can tell they're getting in the playoff mode because I've been seeing Kyrie play way much more defense speaking about Kyrie. You know what I'm saying? He's a straight beast. Straight up beast. I agree with you. Boy, when is he getting that Uncle Drew mode? You know what I'm saying? Wow, 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 wow. Boy, make it happen. Like I said, this is a critical two-game series between the Mavs and Kings right here. So, man, it, 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 it's, it's coming the right way. He said, everybody love Texas. I feel you. you. You stayed in Austin. You root for the Longhorns. You, you, you somehow root for the Astros. You know what I'm saying? And then you root for the Cowboys. You got the Mavericks in it. So, you know, Texas is, you know. We're trying to come up on all aspects in sports, man. Big time. Big time. Which we already know football is already, you know, everything down here. But, hey, you move to the Dallas area, my brother. Holla at me. Holla at me. Holla at me. You know how, hey, you, you see how I'm getting down, man. If, if I'm going to be outside, it's going to be outside dealing with some type of sporting activity. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how I'm going to be outside. Representing for the home team. Let's go. Let's go. You're going to get a two for one right here. So, y'all good. Y'all going to get a two for one right here. Lucas step back. Uh, it came out of there. It almost went down, but it came out of there. Coming down to the last seconds of the half, you know, I got to have the middle light. Big game for the Mavs, man. Big game. We need it in. Uh, oh, he traveled? Boy, he traveled like a mug. Big traveled. Oh, and that one almost went in. Mavs up 58-53 at halftime. Critical game. Critical, critical game right now in the Western Conference as these two teams are neck and neck trying to get into that non-playoff uh, qualifying turn. So it's 58-53 at the half. Mavs are coming out with good energy that I expect them to, you know, in that playoff mode, especially coming off of back-to-back. -back, it was some question marks about Luka Doncic having his ankle, having some Achilles soreness. So good to see him out there. And like I said, man, of course, there's some cowboy talk to go up on this thing. I, I've, I've been reading some of the Dallas Morning article news and stuff like that from Todd Archer and all that, man. And it's some lot of things that we've been talking about that say was going to come to fruition, and it's, and it's possibly so. So 
That's probably how that's going to be. We're getting ready for Ranger season. Y'all know how it is. What's up, big bro? Uh, 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 uh. What's up, big bro? What's going on? You know I got the hat on, though. What it do? I got the Mavericks hat on tonight. I don't know much, man. Just chilling. Uh, you just represent for the home team. That's all it is. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you, bro. Yeah. What's been the deal, man? Not much, man. And then just watching Luca do his thing, man. Luca and Kyrie. And PJ starting to show up now. PJ came out hot today. Yeah. Big time. Big time, big time. Uh yes, yeah, we saw that. Uh, I saw that collapse that went on in that bridge for sure, man. I was like, man, dang, that, was crazy. What was that you know what I'm saying, bro? That was that, crazy. That was big, crazy, big, crazy. crazy. Uh, yeah. now that the Mavs are at halftime, oh, we ain't on Jordan Montgomery watch no more, man. I, I, but I told you, bro, it was gonna happen, but I said the Rangers were doing one for 20. Arizona did one for 25. So doing it that must extra be five. They doing the extra five. Because I I do believe if they didn't throw that extra five, he's a ranger, bro. He's a ranger. If that's all he was gonna get was 20, yeah, he might as well yeah, still be a ranger. a ranger. Yes, I believe that. Mm. But oh, um, what'd you say, Mr. Cowboy? He said Jerry Jones made you happy today, big bro. No, he didn't. I don't understand him, bro. Like I said, it, it, he, you he heard did. me talk about it last time. I was like, bro, he was better off using a better choice of words than saying all in, all bro. In, bro. He, that was the worst said, thing he could have said. But they both said it. Him and Steven. But that was the I'm worst saying, thing they could have said. You see, yes, bro. Like, you cannot say all in. Because everybody going to think all in means that you're – you could have found some money for Tyron. All you had to do is restructure – Terrence Steele deal, Trayvon Diggs deal. You got the money for Tyron right there. And you yeah. got more. So bro. if you wanted to, like, I think they're going to give Ashawn Richards a chance, bro. I really do. Um, Unless they, like I said, they get Morgan, uh, Tyler Guyton, or uh, – now unless, like, they move, unless they move Ty, Tyler Smith to tackle. Tackle. Unless they – but I don't think – I don't think they're gonna do that. It's, it's, the stars just scored is one nothing. They playing San Jose Sharks right now. Yep. Yep. Um, so yeah, man, I, I don't see that happen. Mike McCarthy didn't come out and say that. So they say right now he's playing guard, so you just keep him playing guard. That's that'll mess with a person mental too, bro. For real, dog. Like you, you keep switching like that, that's mess with your mental, homie. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. What do you say? But is I, the Cowboys outlet in North Frisco cheap. Ah uh no. <laughs> uh if you're talking about the Cowboys shop out there, uh no. But yeah. but it's still some other stuff up out there. You can for sure hit up and you know make hey. I tell you the man to go to the, the bar called the common table, bro. With me and little bro went to went to the common table, man. So that's the spot that I've shot basically all uh, you know my schedule predictions. Uh yeah. when I was at the star, it is at the common table. So yeah, he ain't lying. He ain't lying. So you go there doing happy hour, man. You can walk out there feeling a little nice, man, for sure. Hmm. And then Jerry comes out and says, we have enough to get it done. What's no, what is you that? Don't. <laughs> what is that? Bro, he, man, listen, he 80 what? He 81 between 81 and 85 years old. He just talking, bro. They put a microphone in front of your face. I guarantee you, if Clarence Hill, Calvin, all the man say, if they don't put no microphone in front of his face, bro, he can't give you nothing. Bro, that's their job. But I'm just saying, if they treated him like every other 130, 31 owner, he can't, you ain't got nothing, bro. Bro, he's not like, let's, let's stop. I'm just saying, I'm being, I'm being honest. Real talk, we're being real. If they don't put a microphone in front of his face, he can't say stupid stuff. Bro, you, you, you think 
I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's like it's I try to tell. No, it's like I try to tell everybody. You think that the cowboy fandom, or I just said cowboy fandom. Do you think the people who write about football or sports in general or the fandom of the Cowboys is just in Texas? No, sir. It oh, draws I... around. That's the problem, bro. We don't have to cover them. They will. Yeah. And you're going to get fired if you ch chill and uh all them if you don't cover them because everybody <laughs> else will. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So yeah, you, I'm you, not. You I'm not saying. To. I'm just saying. If everybody, I said everybody. If everybody take a microphone and don't show up to a press conference, they're gonna be like, "What the fuck going on here?" <laughs> because <laughs> then, then he don't have nothing to say. Stupid, bro. You can't say you're going all in and one of the best players in the game, even though he's old in the two. You say oh, we ain't got six point five million dollars. What? He basically getting six point five million dollars off incentives, and he took less. Yeah, he, he must. Basically... He must be saying that they're not gonna believe in Dak Prescott going forward. Although I I disagree with that. I just think this case over his head is really what's stalling everything. I I don't. I don't think that's the case. I really do think they want to test his his Tony. I, I, think I mean, I don't know what you're testing though, because to me personally, the you would have to go five and twelve to blow it up. That's I that, think they are. I really think they are now. But but I'm saying that's that's what would have to happen. If you have another season where you're still in the playoffs and you're still hovering, it just don't do you no good. And I, I already thought, said, if you get multiple double digit wins out of Dak this year, shit. See, you got to break him off the bridge. But listen, this is what I think is going to happen. They're going to let him play out. I don't think they're going to have a good season. He's going to walk. He's not going to even play with him. He's going to walk. Right? Yeah. They're going to have Trey Lance here. They're going to draft the guy. They're going to draft the guy to be the guy. And like I've been saying, I think it's going to be Shadour. Name another quarterback out there right now that can that can put up numbers. He ain't. What numbers has he putting up? He's in college. I'm just what saying, numbers have to, Trey Lance hey, put hey, up? Don't don't shoot me. What hey, numbers I'm, have Trey Lance put up? I ain't talking about Trey Lance. I said Shadour. That's even worse. He ain't thrown one snap in the NFL. I'm just saying what they go do, bro. He still got a whole nother year. What you mean? So he put up, say he put up crazy numbers in the Big Twelve this year, bro. If we go five and twelve and we're somewhere hovering around the top pick, then that's a conversation that can be had. But as of now, if you're still gonna be a playoff team, bro, what, like I say, what happens how, if how can you how can you be a playoff team when you didn't lose some of your depth and you're not replacing the depth that you lost with depth? So you can't be a playoff team. When the depth that you lost, you're not replacing it with good depth. Now, Go that's ahead. all true. Now, that's all true. But at the same time, got, I'm not even – if you just – if you finish the season where you're still picking 16 and above, it ain't going to be no point to restart. That's how I'm seeing it. You're going to have to basically tank is what you're saying the Cowboys are basically doing just because they're not signing anybody. Yeah, bro, because they can go get uh, Zach Cunningham linebacker from the Eagles who made $1.8 million the stars up 2-0 with 16 27 to the first period. Now, um, but you, you do know you the know, offseason is still not over, right? Yeah, I do. I understand that. Just, just making sure. I understand it. But you can go get this guy. You need another linebacker. Why wouldn't you go get him? He led he led the Eagles third in tackles last year. Why wouldn't you why wouldn't you take from them? Because they believe in Demarion Overshawn. Come on, man. This dude ain't he coming off of ACL. They can't do that. Well, bro. speaking of surgeries, your Michigan boys both having shoulder surgeries. What's up with that? And I laughed at this shit too. 
I laughed. Yeah, because it don't make any sense. Then that's why you should make moves. If that's the case, you should have kept man. Jonathan Hankins. You should have kept Hankins here. Now that's something that did shock and surprise me. I'm like, bro, why didn't you why didn't you keep him? But and knowing that your defensive coordinator love big guys, and he's a big guy who can stop the run. Why the hell would you not resign him? Because they're dummy. But I mean, they want to get younger, I guess. Bro, we seen how that went. Bro, when this dude was sitting on the sideline, they ran up the middle, up the middle, up the middle, up the middle. Left, right, middle. We know how this go. Yeah. So if you know how something go, why would you continue to, to do stuff? It's stupid. It's dumb and stupid. Like I said, uh, for me, I believe what's going to happen with Dak is unless the season bombs out, I, I, I don't even think he has to, to me, he has to play bad, to be honest with you. Bro. He has to play bad. They, they the stupid. They the dumbest organization I ever seen in my life. Besides the Yankees, they besides the Yankees, man, they are the dumbest organization I ever seen in my life. For me, with Dak, when he was able to talk to them and at least restructure something for this year, lets me know they they good. Now he's gonna play the last year of his contract because. He rather, I'm guessing, he'd rather play with that pressure than to get his money and playing with the pressure that he got the money. So, because he was being pressured by, he was already being pressured, and he ain't even got paid. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, I would have flipped that if then I would have came back to him and asked him, "Hey, what team do you want to get traded to?" That's why I would have flipped that. That's how I would have flipped that for him for him to waive his no trade clause. Yes. I would have asked him, what team you want to be traded to, bro? Because I can give you a pick this year and get one of these quarterbacks this year. Because I don't know what shit coming out next year. So, what? I mean, like, it's, it's they playing two, they playing both sides, bro. They can't play both sides. At this point, man, get this man this money or move on from him. That part, I really do agree. That is facts right there, bro. Either pay him the money or go on. We saw this play out the last time, and it was like it didn't get you nowhere. You really, you, you really kind of set yourself back. But they honestly feel that it's 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 really no rush to get him signed if that's the case, where he bro, he can either walk away from it or you know, bro. His brother came out and said he he his 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 brother want to be here. Which his brother gonna come out and say that? But knowing how we talk, bro, if they talk like we talk, it's like me, you, and Big Bro talk, bro. Like, nah, nah, I'm out. Nah. I ain't gonna tell him I'm out, but I'm out. Nah, nah, nah. I wouldn't be surprised if he said he out, bro. Well, if they bombed the season, I wouldn't be surprised. Even if they don't bomb the season, I still don't be surprised if you say, yeah, bro. Man. We'll see about that. I'm here to tell y'all right now. They gonna sign Dak Prescott. Unless he bombed the season. But at the same time, bro, I mean, like I said, either pay him or don't pay him. I, I am in that agreement with like, look, you if, 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 if you're saying this is going to be his last year, then say that, bro. I'm really comfortable with you saying that, where I'm like, okay, well, then, regardless of what happened, let's just try to go win it all this year. And if it don't, then we'll go on about our business. That that That's like good business right there. But, nah, you want to make it all special. You, you heard what CD said. He ain't signing until full sign. So you ain't going to get CD done because he want to sign. He, he want to make sure full here with him. Yeah, that means he ain't believing in no Trey Lance throwing him no ball. I don't know what they doing, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm just. I would have, I would have got me two linebackers, 
I would have got me a third. I would have got me three linebackers and rolled with them three linebackers. Then I would have mm-hmm. drafted two linebackers in the draft. I would have drafted a D tackle. I draft my first two picks would be an offensive tackle and an offensive guard or center. <laughs> yeah. So Jerry here. has been made aware. Jerry has then been made aware of his lawsuit coming down for the minute. That's why I said, bro, I think they're really like letting this play out, bro. It might not be much of a factor, but they rather let him handle that, bro. Because he got to clear his name first and foremost. Okay. But you believe they you you believe it's planted. Uh, the mm-hmm. thing about Jerry and them with when they start talking, <laughs> they talk a rabbit at their ass. That's what they be doing. Boy said we uh, uh, we got enough on this roster to do something in twenty twenty four, bruh. That's like listening to P Diddy's two two songs of I need a girl. Boy, use a damn lie. <laughs> we know you's a fruit pie. What you mean? <laughs> Oh long, man. Uh, I uh, he said he see the Jones selling, man. I mean, uh, I, man. I heard, like I said, I heard that rumor a couple weeks ago, man. But I don't, I don't know how true that is. I'm gonna stay away from that. Hey, as long as they don't leave here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know how true that is, man. Nah, but that that's crazy, bro. I mean, but you know, Jerry talking about he's aware of all that, but he still has it to where look, they're not worried about signing him this year. I think that's the talk. And the talk is they're not they don't have to do it this year, is more what they're saying, but they're still open to it. That's where you talk about both sides of the fence. Bro, you're talking on both sides of the fence. You can't talk on both sides of the fence, bro. You got to either jump over the fence, man, or jump that fence, man, and stay on that fence, man. You can't. You jump over, you running from the cops, you're going to jump over. If you ain't running from the cops, man, you stay on that side, man, let the cops get you, and go and do what you got to do, man. Damn, supposedly this trick, this happened outside of ecstasy, bro. What? You hear me? Yeah. Yeah, so this this was a report that happened in 2017 of sexual assault that happened between Dak and this chick, but it was in the parking lot of ecstasy, dog. Are you serious? Yeah, bro. Wow. Like, hold on, man. You got caught up with a stripper? Basically. Or a chick you was knocking down. I'm messing with you. Uh... Yeah, but I mean, you know how ecstasy get down, bro. Yeah, at his at his peak of time. Yeah. Yeah. Did somebody get hurt in the game? Who? Derrick Jones Jr. Who got hurt? Kyrie just made a three. Book it. What else? Oh, big talk about it could be what y'all think about. Well, before we go there, before we go there, Miss Cowboy said, "Who do you blame more in the? Who do you blame more, Dak or the front office?" Both. Stop. Both. Stop. Both. Because nah. he should take fifty. Stop. He should take 50. 55. He's 60. He's not a 60. He's not a 60 million dollar quarterback. No. Okay, what if he is pushing 55? Because he obviously restructured his contract for something like that. What if he's talking 55 and they're not even talking that? Bro, they're not talking 55. They need to move the hell on. So they this is what to, I'm saying. They trying to reset the market. The, the report is really saying Dak is not even asking for 60 million a year. This has just came out. Sixty million dollars a year. So don't nobody yeah. really know what Dak is really aiming for. Everybody just got this sixty million dollars in their mind, bro. That that's 
that's not even factual that he's asking for 60 million so it's either the jones is really tripping right now or they don't believe in him that's one of the, I, it, you know what I'm saying? It's one of the two. Yeah, I, I don't they, understand how they can say I want to re-sign him and do this, and then you come out today and Adam Scheffler say that they gonna let him ride on the one you did, and they got to meet your agreement. Like what? That means they've been working on talks and the talks stalled. Yeah, because you got a mean. case hanging over your head. <laughs> No, nah, but not just about the case, bro. It's like they was working on a contract agreement. He wanted what he wanted, and they came back and said, no, nah, we just agree on this. How about we agree on this one year and come back to the table next year? I mean, that's all they can do is because they can't franchise tag them. So, or they can't tag them. They can't franchise tag them either. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, therefore... They're gonna have to ride with them. They're gonna have to work with them. So you blame both of them. I blame uh, both because they, I blame Ty fans. Ty friends because he just got sued by another agent today mm -hmm. this morning. Mm -hmm. So I blame Ty Ty friends, bro, because he they say he's a hard ass, really, really hard ass. Like I said, bro, uh, with the way Jerry has came and talked up out of his mouth, him and Stephen Jones, I blame the front office. I don't, I, I can't blame Dak, bro. It's hard for me to blame Dak because I've seen what I've got from him. Yes, he's, he, yes, in the big moment in the playoff, it might not come through, but everything in between there, he's good to go, bro. To me, that's good enough to say something. Jerry and Stephen, I can't really say for, for once. They held on to Tyron for me way too long. You gave away Amari Cooper for nothing. You took a good couple flyers in last year's draft. You're running it back with Mike McCarthy again. And it's it's, uh, it, it's setting up for his worst season as a Cowboy coach. You think so? And basically you're saying Mike this McCarthy's worst year and Dak Prescott's worst year. That's what you're you're predicting right this, now. This you know what they're setting up for? They're setting up like a COVID year. They act like they ain't COVID, bro. Real talk. They act like they ain't COVID, bro. When COVID first kicked out, that that's how they act. That's how they act. <laughs> I'm just being honest, bro. That's how they acting. Like they in the COVID, bro. Like for real. Everybody making moves, bro. Let's not, let bro. There is still an off season. This that's the only thing I can tell you, bro. Okay. It's still an off season. Okay. They ain't got no money to make no. I, I told y'all from the beginning, bro. They're not gonna make. The, you can't make too many moves until you extend Dak Prescott, bro. That was okay. the bottom line. Okay, so they got seven million dollars. I'm gonna probably say you got seven million dollars. Yeah, you are gonna get Dalvin Cook or Zeke back here. So I would go get Zach Cunningham. I mean, I, I hear, bro, I feel you on that, but uh, I, he's what twenty eight years old, twenty eight, twenty nine. I will go get him. He ain't hit thirty yet. He's still in his prime. So Michael Gelkin's talking about the team is expected to draft a running back, but they want a proven uh, veteran. They, they gonna take Jonathan Brooks. Well, they might just draft him, but they still want a proven veteran back here. Well, from what Brian Brothers say, he been here that they go take him in the second round. Yeah, so they're gonna pick one. Yeah, Brian Brothers said they 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 think about taking him in the second round from what he's here. That'll be the dumbest move ever to do that. Yeah, it's either going to be the second round or third round for sure. Yeah, that's dumb. I would take him in the fourth round. He'll be there. I, I've been here to tell you. I've been here to tell y'all Zeke will be back. Of course they're going to bring Zeke back because that's Dak's boy. They're still paying him. I wouldn't bring him back. I'm on record on saying that. I wouldn't bring him back. You trying to get to the Super Bowl, you don't bring him back. 
Um, you don't bring him back. You got Rico, him and Rico, the same player. No, they're not. What? No, they're not. What, Rico just younger? Uh, well, a younger Zeke was way better than what Rico could probably ever be. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's agreed. let's get that out agreed. the way. Agree, agree. Uh, agree with you there. Zeke now. They they said the marriage was up by twelve. What I'm hearing is that is that true? Jason Kidd in the huddle right now. Oh, yeah. they came back from there. They said they up by twelve. Yeah. In the yeah. third, right? Yeah. Mr. Cowboy says Zeke not coming back, man. Hey, I'm I'm here to yeah, tell you. Yeah, they said man. Zeke. They said Zeke or Dalvin Cook, Mr. Cowboy. They said it today. Man, I'm here to tell y'all, man. Don't rule that I out. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised they bring both of them here. And that's what they talking about. But that's a crowded backfield, and then you know what do you do? Both of them can't play special teams neither, or do you just move Rico Daddle to special team? Yeah. That might be what they might think about. Because if they bring a veteran, they trying to bring a veteran. They already got a veteran on their roster, Rico. So why would you bring another veteran in here? Doesn't make sense. Bruh. They setting, they setting everybody up for failure, bro. <laughs> to go Jerry ahead and move him. on. Yeah. Jerry got a coach in play who he wants. And I believe Bill Belichick is that coach. That's a Bill Belichick type move. Hey, we're gonna let him play out on this last year. That's that's that type shit. Nah, that's another dude I ain't really trying to listen to because nah, he bro. He did do Tom Brady in one year deal. Tom Brady did him a deal. Everybody was, kept saying no, nah, everybody kept saying Tom is for the team. So let's not act like Tom wasn't the one really saying, okay, I'll do this. Right, but I'm saying, bro, but he signed, Tom was taking one of your deals. He was taking one of your deals. So that's the same same as they trying to play Dak. They trying to make Dak the same thing. Only it's hard for them to actually do that. Right. Because Dak still has all the leverage. Leverage. There you go. It is what it is. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man, but uh, it it it's getting funnier. What's the score? Eighty-two sixty-three. Mavericks. Yeah, can't get too happy because you see mm -hmm. how Lakers Lakers came back from nineteen tonight. So. Hey, you saw what happened to the Celtics. You know what I'm saying? They yeah, blew that thirty-point lead. Yeah, can't get too happy. But the Mavs, they, they leading by 19, but they can't hold a lead. That's the question. They get too comfortable. Let's go. Man, Cowboys always bringing them down. But I, it has been interesting. And my, my thought on it is, look, playing on a one-year deal, you can say all that, but they added the two voidable years. You're still going to take a high cap hit next year. Regard, you'll pay him dead money if you let him walk away. That's where it's like, nah, you got the Cowboys actually right now. They're gonna have to, they're gonna have to extend them. But that's what I'm be told. saying, bro. That's why I'm saying, like, they should have just extended them so they have money on the cap to go out here and sign some people. That was my whole thing right there. If if you and the only reason. You say all in, and I'm like, okay, so you're going to extend that, extend CD. That gives you a whole bunch of cap relief. Now you can go get you some players. But none of that happened, bro, and it's like. I bet you Mike McCarthy's sitting back and like, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> I, Bro, I'm, I'm just being honest, bro. Like, He might not. He might leave next year, Shoot, What you mean? He might say, you know I'm what, like, I'm out. I'm like Sean Sharif. Like 105 through the fence. Hey, Will McClay, run. I get the man first turn out of here smoking. I'm out. You're going to dip out like P. Diddy. Everybody I'm left out. behind. I'm out. I'm out like more. Peace. 
I see y'all on the fifth floor. <laughs> bro, man. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> nah, bro. You right, though, dude. Uh, real shit, bro. I can't understand what's really. He got too many hands in the fryer, man. He trying to do uh, soccer and all this up. Man, say, bro, stick to And they almost bro. told his shit up last night. I mean, this weekend for that shit, too. They were fighting and everything in there. Man, he better watch himself. Let, let, let's go on to the next. Let's just go on to another. No, we'll come back to the Cowboys. Let's 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 talk about these Rangers coming up, bro. As we a couple nights away from opening night, man. Hey, man. I'm How you feel about this that, season man. coming up? We always man. always do predictions and hey, stuff like that. I'm, I'm telling you right now. I said it in the beginning, and I need a Jordan Montgomery to come back to make this. Prediction happen, but they go get him at the at the trade deadline anyway. So we we gonna leave that there. Hey, because Arizona ain't gonna be that good. But anyway, people right say the Rangers right, ain't gonna be that good. Man, I ain't listen to what they say. They don't know what's gonna happen. Cause Chris Young, unlike Cat Boy, he has to go make moves. You know what I'm saying? And get that's facts. That's that's real big facts. Yeah, listen, I'm telling you right here, right now. Rangers World Series back to back champs. See, this is why we can't have nice things in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, because we do this back to back champs, back to back MVP, might be Corey Seager or Dolly Garcia or that young Ricky Wild Langford. But I'm telling you here now. They gonna get back to back where it's here. As y'all can see, my brother feels real good about these Texas Rangers coming around baseball season. Houston, they pitching is 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 on on E right now. They on empty. We where they go? They on empty, empty. Three nothing. So, damn, we're fourteen seconds into the second period. God dang, they been with second period about to be over. With. Shit, uh, they in playoff mode. No, Boy, no disrespect, Mr. Cowboy. No, no disrespect, Mr. Cowboy. But your Astros, they surviving. They trying to. They on life support with their pitching, bro. I'm just being honest. Okay, all right. You don't know all what right. you gonna get out of Seattle. You don't know what you Seattle. Get out of hey, still can be good, bro. Don't, don't, don't. They came on strong toward the end of the season, bro. But if they. Start out slow like they did last year. They'll finish slow like they did this year. So uh, they they didn't get in. Did, did they make they make the playoffs? Oh, so no. that's what that's what we're gonna say. Yeah, they didn't get in. Just remember that holds weight. That holds weight everywhere else. Because then you're gonna say what happens when you do get up in there. Yeah, a lot but of people. I, I I just believe that if the grub comes back. Scherzer comes back. Listen, Miley, Molly, whatever Molly. he, Molly comes back. Then this kid they just picked up, that's the reason I think. I think they would negotiate with Jordan Montgomery. Jordan Montgomery wanted too much money. And they found okay. somebody else who can, who can. That's who can exactly what happened. Yeah. They had, they, but they, they had to and they covered themselves. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good. Uh, Mr. Cowboy. Like I said, not this weekend, but next weekend. Come holla at us, bro, because uh, that'll be a big, big y'all move pitching, right there. Mr. Cowboy, y'all pitching is down right now, bro. They don't even know Justin Verlander coming back. For All the pitching is down right now. Yeah, but we we got some stables that can hold a little bit. We got little, <laughs> My we got man little feel little real little good off that gold yeah. chipper. Man, that's what that is. Got, man, we got some stable. We, we know John Gray ain't all oh, left, but bro. But but he got some sore. He had a sore neck, so he probably been pitching today and didn't even pitch. They gonna see if he can throw a bullpen tomorrow. So that's why I said I would have brought back Jordan Montgomery. But hey, well, this is why we all said we would bring back Jordan Montgomery because I kept telling you, bro, the worst thing they can have is any injury to the starting pitching rotation right now. That's what they can ill afford right now. Uh, we have a two v. A two way. Yeah, we got Corey Seager and Marcus Steamy. And a Dolce. 
<laughs> Inner Douglas, who's a Astros killer. So it's gonna go down next weekend, man. So I look, I look for, I look forward to seeing you, my guy. It's gonna really go down. I got some big things planned for next weekend. You know, everything goes go down with you know right at the crib. But I got some big plans coming up next weekend. But you know, baseball season is back in effect, which means it's about to be good weather outside. So it's always good time, and it's better when you're coming off as the champs. I th I think Mr. Cowboy can understand something like that where we're coming from. So hey, you know, it is what it is. This this is how yeah. it feels when you you know you're on top. You know, yeah. you got to give us our credit to you know to beat them to be the man. You got to beat the man, and we beat all the men's out there. You know, we beat yeah. we, we, yeah. we beat y'all. We beat well. Mm -hmm. What else we had to do? People can say that it was the wor lowest watched World Series. I I don't give a damn. Nah, I didn't give a damn either. All I know is they got a World Series bet. I'm finna hang up. <laughs> they hanging that up <laughs> Thursday. Saturday, they showing off the ring display, and I got my ticket to go to that thing. Now I just got to make sure my black ass is up there. I don't know what time it is. I need to uh, – uh, I'll probably hear about it on the radio. They'll announce it sometime yeah. sooner or later. But the game, I think, is at 6.05 or 6.30, one of the two, so they'll probably have it around 5 o'clock or something like that. So. Yeah, I'm gonna I need to, to get, to, up there early. Go ahead and get my ticket too. Don't try to get that thing too. Man, I'm uh, I need to go ahead and get up there early, and you know they got all the new memorabilia up in there. So try to get some photos and get get some live action for all my DFW people up there. You know, oh, go live at the game. That's exactly what I plan to do. You know, kind of I, I was doing it with the Cowboys this year. I started going live before the game. Started going live after the game. But I was, like, doing it on my Instagram, actually. So now I'm going to just bring it all to YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to bring it all to the channel, try to go live probably here before I go to the game. And then when I get to the game, go live. It'd be kind of hard because I got to be careful with that because I don't want to run all the juice up on my, <laughs> oh, <you're laughs> on my phone. So I got to kind of be careful with that. And it, I think that's probably the way we'll go. And then afterwards, he'll go live after the game. I think that's going to be some of my methods that I'm going to be doing. So it gives it brings y'all right into the DFW atmosphere, how we get down up over here. So look, big looking forward to it. I'm I'm real excited about Wyatt Langford cracking this lineup and actually seeing what he's able to do uh, up in the big leagues right here. You already, I already said, it, you know. You say MVP. I say, yeah, he's gonna be fighting for top two. If he can if he can stay in the lineup, that's gonna be the question. Oh let's go. What is that? 9169? Yeah, they just said they, they added to the league or something. Oh, uh yeah, they about to. They about to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pass it. Pass it. Your boy Hardaway. Yeah, they added to the league. Time out. What's go? 94-69. Mavericks. Man, man if, they can, if they can win this and win Friday, it's going to be hard. Man, it's going to be on, man. Hard. Yeah, it's going to be hard because they're going to come out ready to play Friday. Man, they, they in that playoff play. mode. They scratching ever since Daniel Gafford has been inserted into that starting lineup along with P.J. Washington. Gosh, bro, man. the Mavs are get, getting off, bro. God damn it. Want... The, the shots just go. It's Again? three two. Yep, three two. Now, you talk about somebody who can't hold a lead when they up. It's the stars, bro. Yeah, but. I like I like the addition with PJ Washington and Derrick Jones Jr. as well. Oh, of course. Yeah, I like of course. I like but that. like I say, you know, and then you bring Dante Exum in there yeah, with I mean, Derek Lively coming yeah, in there. Yeah. They got size on the court at all time. They got athletic size out there. That's a that's a big, big key for them right there. And I, I, I'm enjoying every second of it. The, the main thing they just got to, you know, they're not falling in love with the three-point shot. That's something that I'm noticing with them. They are going strictly straight inside, you know what I'm saying? Unless the dudes are out there, then they'll let them do it. You said the Mavs seem to be focused. They, they focused. On... They locked in. 
Yeah. Now we just hoping Jason Kidd don't spit it up. Man, he don't burp to me. You know what I'm saying? Really, really, he's been he he's made the switch to the starting lineup. He's pressing the right buttons right buttons. now. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought he's talking Rick Carlisle right now. I thought he's talking old Rick Carlisle. That's a Rick Carlisle move, man. I just, I just believe we've been on his head a lot this year, and deservedly so. But I man, believe now he's happen. starting to press the right buttons. I believe. Bills ringing. They coming back? Who? They are. Uh, I mean, they're hitting a couple. They hit a couple shots. Mavs still in control, bro. Mavs just trying to get the quarter. To, or yeah, they basically trying to get to the end of this quarter. Uh great block, Derek Lively. What? Oh, he got his Luca got his shit picked. Luca got his shit picked. By who? Mark. Uh damn, I couldn't see who it was. What we got? 94-72 is the score. Just, if he hit this need. free throw, it'll make it 73. Which it will. So, yeah. Mav's still hanging in. Mav's still hanging in. Now, now that we didn't kind of switch the subject. <sighs> hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on. What else did you find out about the ecstasy uh, stuff? So they that's that's what Michael Gelkin reported. He's saying that this the stem with it, it all, all the details he only got is uh that this occurred in the parking lot in uh at ecstasy, and it's just now he's just lawyering up because he's trying to be extorted. That's okay. let me before uh yeah that's what he's basically saying right there so jerry jerry and them has been full aware of it they're not shying away from it or anything like that end of the 9676 luca got 28 Luca Dirty Donches, we used to call dirt, Dirty Dirt. I'm about to start calling this man Luca Dirty Donches, man. Because he doing them dirty. Man. Prescott met with Prosper Police and explained to the Prosper Police Department officials that his client was possibly a victim of theft by corrosion. Yeah. So he he basically saying that the chick is that's trying to extort him basically straight up. Yeah, he basically saying the chick trying to extort him, man. But it, I mean, bro. But if the chick know you and know what you're about, bro. Man. Uh, supposedly alleged the alleged assault. Damn, hold on, hold on. He said the alleged assault. Happened February 2nd of 2017. Uh, Prescott, through his attorney, told the news that the sex was consensual. So you done picked this girl up from after the club out of ecstasy. If you've ever been to, you know, yeah. Bellamy and all them spots out here in the Dallas nightlife. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be careful. Well, he said they went to the club. She said they went to the club together. Twenty seventeen. This was a youngster, bro. This that's when him and Zeke first came into the league, and he experienced all that success. Twenty sixteen. Yeah. But twenty seventeen wasn't that good of a year because this happened in supposedly February. Yeah. 
See, you need to be deep in the playoffs because when you ain't in the playoffs, you out there doing something you ain't got no business to doing. doing. Yeah. I don't know. He blaming the Cowboys. He said, nah, the Cowboys got something to do with it. They plant the chick. I said that, Mr. Cowboy. I did say that. <laughs> People told me no. You don't play with stuff like this, man. <laughs> You see what the, you that. hey you see Diddy ain't around here no more, huh? Yeah, he 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 gone over over across across the bay. <laughs> That's what they say his jetty is across the bay. Yeah, you can't play with situations like that, man. But I do believe they're both in mutual. If they're gonna say he's gonna play the last year on his deal, then he's gonna play the last year on his deal. The, doesn't matter. It's just to me, okay, then you're talking about letting C.D. Lamb go if C.D. Lamb is true to form saying he ain't signed an extension until Dak do. So do they draft the receiver in 24 if, to show them that they ain't bullshit? Hey, bro, I, if I was doing my take alignment, I wouldn't touch Jonathan Brooks at, at no second-round pig, man. Jonathan Brooks will be there at third or fourth round pick, man. Ain't nobody gonna take the take him, bro. He to his ace. They gonna treat him like they did uh drop quick. <laughs> yeah, because they had their medical team work on him. So then you know that you can take him in the third round. You can take him in the fourth round. Until a team like Washington snatch him up. <laughs> Possibly the Giants shoe. What you mean? Just because they come out there and run their mouth, you know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't have said nothing about the doctors. My doctors worked on him or nothing. That, 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 that's what I mean, bro. Why would I you lie? I wouldn't. I wouldn't even told people my doctor, the Cowboys doctors worked on him. I would have just kept it quiet, bro. Good Lord, bro. Hold oh, Chip, they quiet, bro. I feel you. I feel you, bro. I know it's getting late, I, bro. Nah, you good. Man. Well, I just, I just, if you trying to watch these games, it's going to be late because uh, I'm like, damn, I looked up and I was like, the Stars and the Mavs after 9 o'clock? Shit. What's the score of the Mavs game? Uh, right now, I got 96-76 right now. 98.76. Bucket. Somebody just hit a three. Hardaway just hit a three. They ain't about to call another timeout. My, my stuff buffering. They about to call another timeout. Mavs energy is really at a high alert right now, man. Yeah, but they got to keep that same energy on Friday night because they going to come with it Friday, I'm telling you. Well, I feel you, but they should have to rest. They playing on a back-to-back -back like this? I, I like that. I like that. Yeah, Hardaway hit that boy. I tell you, he played better on the road than he do at home, bro. Yeah, because ain't nobody on his neck. Bro, that thing hit the bottom of the net. <laughs> Uh they gave a fire. Yeah. yeah. Jason Kidd ain't just sitting there watching no more. I'm proud of you, kid. <laughs> he was sitting there with his he crossed his legs last night. Like, bro, what are you doing, though? You just fold your arms and then when the gang got close and tight, he hey, 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 <laughs> yeah, both games in Cali, Mr. Cowboy. We on that we on that Cali trip right now. Yeah, for Mr. the Cowboy, stars. You ain't watching the game, huh? No, I asked Mr. Cowboy. He is he watching the game? Knowing this, you know, stars trying to hang on in the out there in the West, and so is the Mavericks. So, yoke. What's NBA TV. Oh, New Orleans lost. New Orleans lost? 
they lost, yeah, to the Thunder. So they just got to, Mavs just got to keep, keep going. He winning. He winning. Ooh, he say no. He local for him, DC. He in DC. Oh man, you, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, you gotta, yeah. Man, get you that stream, man. Ain't nothing yeah, wrong you with gotta getting get you the streaming, stream, bro. Streaming, yeah. But I do look, yeah. I do look for the Cowboys to bring Zeke back. I've been saying that. I don't know why. Oh, I don't man, think they bring Zeke back, bro. I'm done. I don't, I don't think it will help, but. Hey, man, you want a one yard? <laughs> Well, the problem is, bro, you drafted Deuce Vaughn last year, and I think that was a mistake. Well, Deuce can't do nothing for you. Deuce out here working on his, his crap. Man, you saw Zeke doing the same thing. You said, man, you ain't doing nothing but making noise. That's what you said. Well, that's what, that's what he did. He was... Didn't Deuce Vaughn doing the same thing? <laughs> He hit that boy. Ah! <laughs> I could do that with him, bro. Bro, you crazy as hell, man. Mm. He ain't making free throws. Come on, Mavs. Keep pouring it on him. Put it in their head right now. Keep what on, Cletus. Cool. For some reason, on my belly, man... Stars ain't even what? playing for some reason. I'm like, what y'all doing? They go up 4-2. Well, eight minutes and three seconds to the second period. Yeah, I see it just popped up. Stars in that playoff mode, bro. They trying to get back to that Western Conference Finals, man. Yeah, how many points they got? Can they, they write, they say oh, it's a log jam. That Central Division is like neck and neck. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Bro, right now in the Central Division, there's second. How many points they got? They got they tied basically with the Colorado Avs at 97 points, bro. They tied for second? First. No, okay. The Avs are 46 and 20, and the Stars are 44 and 19. But they both got 97 points. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they can win tonight, they put a lot of pressure on the Avs. A lot of pressure to win. Shit, the Avs on a nine game win streak win right streak. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we got to play them in a couple weeks, I think. It's I coming down to the nitty gritty to the indie, baby. He said, Deuce. <laughs> Deuce Vaughn way about three. <laughs> nah, bro. I mean, he, 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 bro. He played in the Big Twelve, so I, I ain't gonna take nothing from him. He, he did give, he did get Alabama that work. He did not give Alabama the work, Drew. Yes, or no. 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 He didn't have over hundred yards on Alabama. So are we making it? Who won the game? Oh, it's four three. Sharks. Curry. Boy, the Mavs then hit nineteen threes tonight. I just hope it don't run out. We need to keep it going until Friday. We Boy, shoot you out the gym, them. man. When they hitting threes, like we always said, when they hitting threes, you're at their mercy, bro. But Sacramento still hanging up in there, though. Let's go. Uh, I'm waiting from 109.83. Well, how many minutes left in the fourth? I got 735 left in the fourth. They're at the free throw line right now. Sacramento, Ooh, Sacramento? Is. Yeah. He just hit both his shit. Oh, he talked about the new kickoff rule. Man, I had a feeling they was going to try to steal from yeah, XFL, you bro. Said, you said that. You said I had that. a feeling they was going to steal that shit. 
Yeah, for sure. I, but I still don't understand them kicking off at the 35. That's where I don't like it. I'm like, if you're going to do that, then why don't you just kick off at the 25 like you used, you know? But at the 35, you still going to boot that thing out the end zone. So to me, it don't even matter. I, I don't yeah. really feel it, but hey, they trying, hey, I guess. Hey, they trying to make it so people uh, uh, like the game more and more and more. And Bro, the game is straight. It's just, it I does suck. Back. What they could have kept the rule is they could have said, hey, we're going to keep the ball at 25. We're going to put everybody at 25. And then. Or we can move them up to the 35 or whatever. Mm, yeah, I mean, like I said. 5-2, 5-3, 5-3. Who's just scored? Shark. I mean, uh, uh, Wyatt Dennis, Johnson. 5-3, Wyatt Johnson, yeah. Mm. Oh, snap. Stars trying to get that 45th victory up in that thing, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Let's go ahead, Stars. Let's go ahead and bring it home. home. Uh, I, I like the rule, bro, because I think it can be a lot of more kick, kick returns back. You know? So, we'll see. They might tweak some things. We'll see. I ain't going to lie. As many games as I done went to to to, to – Wait there for the game to finally kick off, and then when it kick off, just for it to go out the end zone and the offense come on the field. That that's kind of lame, bro. I ain't gonna lie to that. Agree. You have to fix something about that. But I agree. They go. They go. So they gonna probably do pooch. They go probably do pooch kicking to get them a chance. I mean, it. It's not a. It's no. It's not a pooch kick to give them a chance to return it. It's a pooch kick because now you got. I don't think they'll let you on side, but now you can pooch kick, and if the dude don't catch it, if he run up and miss the catch or whatever, you that's a closer recovery, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. great field position. So that's about the only positive I can see come up out of it. To be to be real, I agree. With you. I agree with that. I agree. That's with that, about bro. the most I agree positive. With that. Otherwise, y'all just bringing the offense out on the field. Y'all not playing. Y'all not you yeah. Know, yeah. fooling nobody. Mikey, what's up, bro? Two guns in the house. Hey, man. Y'all make sure y'all check out my boy channel, Our Bleeping City, man. Holding it down for Boston sports. That man got interviews with a lot of folk, man. I'm trying to get to that level for sure, but they don't like me out here. You know what I'm saying? So, But it's cool, though. We, we, do, we still do our thing, but... Give that man a follow, man. If you like the Celtics, you like the Bruins, you like the Red Sox, you like the Patriots, holla at him, man. Hey, that man got some fire content for sure. So check him out. Appreciate you for joining in, man. We just we just chopping it up on a late night with the Mavs in a crucial game with the Kings right now. Stars in action against the Sharks. And, of course, man, we getting ready for baseball season. Speaking of, you know, my man Mikey Two Guns, it was exhibition, but – your Red Sox, you know, they handled us for the <laughs> man. They're too good. They they beat us like they they, be, they beat the snot up out of us, man. Mm -hmm. And it all started once they put Grant Anderson up in there, bro. Everything man. was going good until they threw his ass up in there. He going man. back down to the mines. Man, he ain't even made the squad. <laughs> I see him back down quick. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to tell you, bro, get him out of here. Yeah, man, and of course we've been talking about the Dallas Cowboys up in here. Yeah, man. We don't understand what's up with Jerry Jones. Uh, Stephen Jones, Jerry Jones, Will McClay. I don't understand what's up with a lot of Mike McCarthy. <laughs> but like I said, it, to me, we, we all agreed. You weren't going to make no moves until you was going to extend Dak Prescott. Now, if you're not extending yeah. him, then that tells you everything. You, ain't, you can't make no moves no way. So this is something that we shouldn't we shouldn't actually be upset about, Cowboys Nation. I mean, I'm not upset. I just want them no. To you're upset. No, it's kind of remind me of Martin on Bad Boys, where she kept saying, "You're angry." No, I'm not angry. No, you're angry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, bro. Like, I mean, the only team that really does in the in the NFC East is Philly and Washington. And Washington is so bad, they needed to make the move. What you mean? 
So, so and they picked Giants, up all of our depth players. That's all that was. Indeed. Yeah. It was size Biotis, but Biotis State. And that's what scared me. They he was once a young player that they felt they liked and could do all that, but you don't want to bring him back. But now you're talking about their we like the young players that we man stop it stop it man I don't I, Jerry look bro just just you know let let your team play bro just let them play let them play oh yeah that new bad boys movie uh uh me yeah and June the artist 7th. At the date yeah June seventh we going to try to get a babysitter. We're going to try to hit that thing up. Yeah. Matter of fact, I forgot to ask more. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we probably could double then. Shoot. Yeah, for sure. See how that go down. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm going to be having a whole bunch of more videos up in this thing with some DFW sports. Because like I said, that Houston weekend is going to be a weekend because I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to go out. I'm trying to go all out that weekend. I'm not going to lie to y'all. So, Houston Sports, my man, Jay, man, if you if, if you ever get a follow, man, let me know. You said you was going to be down here, man. We can link up and do all that. But Mavs still in control right now. Is just trying to wind down to the end. You want to talk about defense right now? They defense is spinning. I mean, they done only gave up 85 points at this moment right now. That's great defense, bro. Coming off of yeah. a back-to-back? -back? Yeah, yeah, it's real good defense. They focus. Yeah, yeah. Jared Dillon might be having a hand in on Marquise Morris. The last time they had a bad run, Marquise Morris, Marquise Morris spoke, and ever since he spoke to him, man, they've been on a roll, bro. Yeah. You say when is the um my next Mavs game? As you mean the next game I'm trying to hit up. If that's what you're asking, the next game I'm trying to hit up is gonna be basically what second the to the eighth, last game seven, of the season. Seven to eight. Yep, oh, it's the seventh. It's that Sunday against the Houston Rockets. And that will be coming off the weekend where I plan Saturday to go to the Rangers and Astros game. So, yeah, we we, we playing against Ace Town Sports on back-to-back. -back. That's how we plan to really mob out that way. So, yeah, got some big things planned out. We'll be going live. We'll be having video. And, of course, I'll come back and do the shows and we can all have our fun about it and going about that way. I'm pretty sure it's always going to be some Jerry talk. You know, we're trying to make it to the end of this game right here as it's approaching 11 o'clock Central Standard Time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, woo. Let's go. I have right now 114.85. Still. My, my stuff buffing, so that's why I asked. At five and a half minutes. Yeah, now Lucas still in the game? Uh, Luca is not in the game. Kyrie in the game. Kyrie is in the game. Oh my god! You ain't lying because a lot of people done left their seats. It's Thank empty up in that pull thing. Ma pull Mavs pull done pull cleared him. it out. Pull them, Jake. Pull them, please. Pull them. No, nah, like you said, no, nah, it ain't never over. You got to be careful, and that's I guess what he's doing. Bro, it's five minutes left. Yeah, that game ain't over. Man, a couple, a couple three. Who? De'Aaron Fox. See, you just turned over the ball. Uh, no. Bro, he just missed three. Yeah, I sub everybody in, bro. Sacramento just missed three layups in a row, bro. Like, dude was right at the rim. Wow. Yeah, let's go ahead and sub out, J-Kid. Get Kyrie up out of there. Uh. Gafford with the yoka. Yoka, bro, Daniel Gafford, bro. I bet bro, you he might not. Shit. He might not be that good, but for the Mavericks, he's that good. Yeah, That's all it is, yeah, bro. Yeah. That's all they've been missing with some big guys that could be athletic and do something. That's it, bro. He set the tone, though, bro. He set the tone on defense. He set the tone on offense with his pick. And then Pitching you the roll, Derek Lively, Lively to come in after that up oh, hardy bro, time. He tried to throw, did you see the live? I don't mean to cut you off. Did you see the live pass he tried to throw to Derek uh, DJ last night? Who? Uh, Gafford. 
No, I didn't. I, I, I kind of crashed out last night. I ain't gonna lie. I sat in my pop chair. I got too comfortable yeah. with Celeste, and boy, I yeah. crashed. I ain't even finish it, bro. He tried to throw a live at the top of the key to Derrick Jones Jr. and he caught it. And he caught it, and he tried Derrick Jones for the pump, and then he brought it back down and laid it back up. But he threw it. He threw it back. He threw it behind him like this. Yeah. If he would have threw it in front of him, he would have dunked. We emptied the bench for you. Thank you, JK. The white pal in the game. That's how you know we emptied yeah, the bench. Yeah. Did they take their starters out? Who? Sacramento. They been had their starters out. Yeah, thank you. Luca can, can rest the heel, go put his heel in a... In a, in a yeah. Uh, so, Maz, yeah. Maz going to walk away with this. Right now, they're up 120-85. That's what I got. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's over. We're about three minutes left up in this game, which is a big win because that solely puts them in it's sixth it. place right now. And it did. It did. my, my it big did. go ahead. If, if they win Friday, tiebreaker. They, they put them in ahead of the tiebreaker with, with if the Pelicans lose. Ooh. Ooh. Let me go look at it. That mean that four five matchup. Is them against the Clippers. Oh, that means the playoff game's going to be late as hell. <laughs> be, we be 9.30 starting around this, be, bro, for real. Good but, Lord. But if they can get that fourth seed, because the Clippers kind of sleeping right now. Right now, you are a game and a half out of the fifth seed, and you're two games behind the Clippers for the fourth seed. And they sleep. What's their record? 45 and 27? Clippers are 44 and 27. Yeah. So I was a game. I was game up. Game up. I gave him a game. Yeah. Uh! And we two games back. And we're a game back of fifth place, right? You are a game and a half behind fifth place. So they now that they might they update. Game. That might update. So if you win tonight, you probably most likely are a game. You'll probably be a game out Bro, of the fifth seed. That'll, that'll be strange. So it's going to be it, it's big. Clint, it's beat. big. Clinton coming right here. They can beat the Clippers though. With the roster they got right now, they can beat the Clippers. Fucking Houston Rockets the one nine straight games, so that's gonna be a damn show. One of them games coming down to the end of the season. They trying to get in that play in, and we trying to get out the play in. Play in. <laughs> yeah. Which I said, I my my big my big bold prediction. I said, bro, Daniel Gafford and the addition of Daniel Gafford and PJ Washington. I said was gonna make the Mavs be a non qualifying uh playoff team where they don't have to be into the play in. I felt there'll be a top six team and they still got a lot of ways to go, but right now bro if they can win tonight, they win tonight, they can win Friday night. Oh, that'd be cool, bro. It's that'd still be gonna be cool. hard because then you got Golden State. You know what I'm saying? So and yeah, Golden State Golden is State fighting State for it. So Sunday. you need these two I wins. It's you, you better. When the playoffs get around, that's when I know they start heating up because they know what postseason feel like. Yeah, but playing they, or not, they, they lost. They had a bad loss for last night too. I just can't wait to get onto the Twitter heads or the X heads that was all oh, Luca. He's oh yeah, he that cold. Too bad he can't make the play in tournament. Oh okay, well we don't need no play in. We just gonna make top six seed. Shut y'all ass they up. They could have made the play in last year. They chose but they tanked. That, I tried to yeah. tell folk that. And you know what? To get Derek Lively yeah. out of it, that was a smart move. And I kept saying, bro, y'all, it, it better work. It better yeah. work. And he wanted to go there anyway. He wanted to come to Dallas anyway. That was his motivation. You listen, what's up now? Appreciate you tuning in on the late night tip. If you're watching the Mavericks, I see why you still up. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, it's a late one going on, and the Mavs are putting in, well, big bro like wrestling. The Mavs are laying the smack it down on the Sacramento Kings. Hey, man, that dude that trash right now, man. <laughs> that dude that, 
I knew that trans me right now, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna speak on the 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 the, the face of man. He'll turn on Roman Reigns in two weeks. He'll be paid to do that. That's a, that's the thing. But yeah, but he the, he the final boss. So he the boss. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> He the Mike Tyson on Punch Out. Yeah, he the Mike Tyson on Punch Out. Yeah. Yeah. You listen to say, how about the Mavs? Hardaway needed this game big time, man. Hey, hey, we need him to contrib contribute this win. And hey, Friday, we're going to need him again as well. Because we got him back to back. Man, Mavs up 130 to 91. <laughs> That's good. They beating the dog stuff up out of these boys. But we can't get too happy because we got a game on Friday. They going to go to the drawing board to find out what they did wrong. That's we just got to continue doing what we did. That's and improve fine. a little bit more. to get. That's fine. Win. The Mavs shot you out the gym on a back-to-back. -back. Yeah. So they will try to that. run the Mavs off the three-point line and make and, it 2 and you tried to run the Mavs off the three-point line, and they didn't do nothing but hit 22 threes tonight. They went 22. How many of, did they take? Right now, they're 22 of 39. Dang, they took damn near 40 threes tonight? They went 56% behind the arc. That's good. Well, no, yeah, you get your ass whooped by the Mavericks on, or, or any team that hits yeah, 22 threes that. like yeah, that, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, they hit from three. Let's give them their props. Uh, and the three hasn't been falling lately. And when they needed the three, it came up big for them tonight. Real big. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they had 33 assists at the same time. The Mavericks had 10 steals tonight. Man, say. 21 Luke points Kyrie, off the turnovers. Luke and Kyrie. Kyrie been playing a hell of a defense, man. I, I had said that. People, I don't know where these people be talking about he don't play defense, <laughs> bro, because – he been playing D, man. Game time. Mavs get a 132-96 victory. Victory. Let's go. Let's go. Victory Let's as go. they now have sole possession Let's of sixth place. place in the Western Conference playoff standings. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Yeah. What, what what's the box score? What we had? Luca had 28, 11 rebounds, six assists. Six. Kyrie had 24, eight assists. PJ double double 14 points, 13 rebounds. Mm -hmm. Daniel Gafford had 10 points. Where's Hardaway? Hardaway had 22. Man, we can get that same production out of Hardaway. We got tonight, Friday night. We a we good. We good. We good. And we a one space off. Yeah, we get PJ keep continue to roll and get this good rhythm he's in. They'll be all right Friday night. Yeah, yeah, right. I agree with you, man. Like I said, it's really going up in Dallas Fort Worth sports, man. We got a lot riding on. Of course, the Cowboys is always the soapbox to talk about, but I told y'all, man, don't waste too much of y'all negativity. I will bring y'all, you know, whatever I hear, whatever I read. Tomorrow, I will have my live show. With Heart of Texas Sports on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. I'll be breaking down some more DFW sports, but you know what? I might do an extra special segment, just depending if I don't if I don't work late, uh, put in the extra hours tomorrow, then I might just come on and jump on live here. You know what I'm saying? And we'll just try to keep this countdown going on for uh baseball season coming up because once Rangers touch down, I plan to. I won't go live the whole game for the Rangers, but we'll probably jump on about around the seventh inning. That'll probably be our thing doing here. Jump on seventh inning, go live, and then we'll talk, talk post game, see how that go. And then, like I said, man, uh, I've been working extra hours to rev it up, get ready for these postseason, and get ready for Ranger season. So look forward to more videos coming in. Uh, Bug, any bold predictions you got coming out? You know what I'm saying? What's what's what? What do you feel, you know, any breaking news that you feel going to be bold? My, you already – mine last week was talking about Zeke Elliott. But uh, if you had to go one for all the teams in the – uh, well, I wouldn't say all the teams. Just just give me your bold prediction. What can be the next news to pop off here in DFW Sports? Mm. I, I believe they'll probably bring Zeke or they'll sign Davin Cook. Or they might try to go get an offensive lineman. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. I got you. Uh, my bold prediction. I got Wild Langford. I got Wild Langford winning the uh, a a rookie of the year if he don't get hurt. I'm in agreeing with. I'm in agreeing with. I, I think he also has to see the field because, like I said, the outfield. Well, they gonna put quiet. him in left. Yeah, they gonna put him and Evan Carter in left if he's not DH. Yeah. Yeah. Now they gonna try to keep them two in the lineup at all time. Which we we can have our uh you know. We can have that segment going on probably tomorrow where we'll talk about uh what's happening for uh the Rangers. But since you you mentioned that, uh Ulysses said we need to hold the sixth seed a better. We got the easiest schedule coming down to man, it's just yeah. about finishing right now. Yeah, yeah. Finishing strong and they're gonna strong. be all right, but yeah. you're right though. I mean, it's set up for them to where they ain't gotta be in no play-in tournament. If you at if you at six. I think they can kiss. I think they can kiss New Orleans or the Clippers. Well, if you're in the fit, well, I, long as you're not in the play in, get your rest. Because I think they can play with anybody, actually. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. With the, the roster they got right now, they they got, they can go, man, they can go any way, bro. If, they can go small, go small ball that's still big, big, athletic. Yeah, even Mar- Mar- uh, Marquis Morris, man. Uh, they can even play him if they want, bro. Like, they ain't even got to use the white pile. They, they are a flexible team now. They can right. play any type of way. Josh Green come back, that's another weapon that they got. Y'all see what it is. We represent, and I believe the Stars are about to the sp- win as well. Let's see. What did it say? Somebody five, score? Two, three, five, three. No, nah, ain't nobody scored since five three. Oh, all right. Oh, they still at the end of the second period. Oh, they ain't came back for the third period. Damn, see, see. I can't watch. I can't watch them. He's saying, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know I'm what I will do? Me. I'll play it on the background, soft music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let it be the soft yeah. radio, and I'll just yeah. take my black ass to sleep because yeah. I'm right there with you. <laughs> it's already eleven thirty. He gonna yeah. have to book it, so it, it's it's gonna be one of those things, you know. Go ahead, Ulysses. What you say? Another thing too, we've been able to close out games here great late, especially like last night. That was a great closing game that they had, man. And I, I had was to like, come oh, back okay. Yeah, they, I they had to need come back and get that. Yeah, man, that yeah. gave me confidence with them and to see how they. And I was nervous about tonight just because I'm like, man, it's a back to back. It was grumblings about Luca and his Achilles. I'm like, oh, this is the worst time, but. Bro, you mean to tell me y'all come out like this? Y'all come out like y'all know y'all in playoff mode. And I dig that. That's a big salute. We got to give Jason Kidd his props. Give Jason. We done gave. We've been on his top. It's time yeah. to give him his props. And props. Yeah. He's been doing but his I, thing with I Daniel Gafford and PJ Washington in that lineup. Sprinkling in Daniel Jones Jr. Yeah, I will put Luke in a hyperbaric chamber, man. Just keep that Achilles warm and... and, and uh, <laughs> Lose, man. Yeah. Nah, big yeah. facts. Big facts. Yeah. And they can also heal his Achilles, too, if he, if they actually put him in a hyperbaric chamber. It would help. Yeah. Uh, put him in a, a cold bath. Let a cold bath take the, the soreness out. Or he can use lift the ring. Yeah. My bold prediction, what I'm going to have, especially coming with the Cowboys, is – you're going to hear something about Jerry and them talk about they have a number that's set for Dak. Wait, I, I, that's going to piss us off even more, bro. Because I'm t- I'm here to tell y'all, bro, I don't think Dak has won $60 million. I think he's looking to reset the market, but not like that. And I think I think that's where people took off and run with it. Then he's looking to get $60 because that would be the highest pay. I don't think it's necessarily like that. I think he wants to forever be a Cowboy. The deal got to be like long term. If that's the case, he should have son. He should have told them, "Hey, let's get a deal done, so y'all can go give me some help on the offensive line. If I'm gonna be here for a long period of time." Well, I think they got a. I think they actually. I'm maybe this me being biased, but I actually think they have enough offensive linemen. I just think they need a center, bro. I think they need a physical center. That's what this offensive line is missing. So you don't think they need a left tackle? 
So if you're keeping Tyrant uh Tyler at guard, also Richards didn't play a lot. He played some, and then when you did, he did play. You didn't hear his name get called. Well, this is what I'm saying. If they like their young players, that's my who they might have to give a shot at, which I'm on board with. You got to let them do something. Anytime you're next to Ty Tyler Smith, you should be okay. Yeah, but as long you know, as your center position is good. If your yeah, center position is good, I, anything I next to that. Tyler on the tackle spot should be okay. I thought the Buffalo Bills center, is he still out there? I forgot to do. I had to look that up. Like I said, Cowboys fans, the offseason is still ongoing. They don't really start this thing until after August. the draft. After the draft. So, like I said, we're just mad that the all in came out of his mouth. So I feel you on that, bro. I know it's late, so let me go ahead and get up at you another time, bro. Uh, I'll try to catch you tomorrow. Talk some more Rangers getting ready for the season opener. And we'll just recap more about some Dallas Fort Worth sports. So I'll catch you the next time. Uh, I'll try to link up with you like sometime throughout the yeah. day period of what we can talk about. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. most definitely. I got to link up with you as well about the ticket or whatever. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. bro, you just, you might as well pick what you can because uh, I saw a ticket that I was trying to get and it went up. It went up that I should have got it yesterday, but that boy went up $35. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And I was like, damn, bro, because the ring ceremony is going to be there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Damn, I should have bought this. those okay. tickets are starting to go. But if you have to go, bro, if you ain't doing nothing Easter Sunday, bro, just go Sunday game. Sunday going to be your ticket. It's going to be real cheap. But I said I'm going Saturday because I went last year on the second game. Yeah. I went to, we did go. Did I go as well? Yes, sir. Yeah. That Phillies game was a beat down. Yeah, they beat the brakes off of Phillies. Bro, and that was signs to come because I was like, bro, did I just see the Rangers score 16 runs, bro? Bro, they, that's what, man. And that did follow what, for a good portion of the miss. season. I know one dude they going to miss, man. Mitch Garver. When Mitch Garver oh, is hot. Breaking pitch hitting Mitch. Bro, when he is hot, he don't miss. He don't mm. miss nothing. Nah, you're right, man. Him and those back to back hitting. Oh man! But Jonah Ham can give you something too, though. Yeah, he don't give you that much pop. I'm talking about when them boys hot, 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 like you, bro. Say when him and Adol is hot, to, they was hot together, bro. They crushing the ball. They crushed the ball. But yeah, man, I'm gonna holler at you, bro, man. All right, man. I get at you, man. For sure. All right, bro. Deuces. Later. Man, as y'all see, me and Big Bro, we always hold it down talking DFW sports, man. Like I said, the Mavs come through with a big victory tonight. Big victory winning 132 to 96. And it was a game that they needed against the Sacramento Kings, man. Like I said, right now, they, I believe, take over sole possession of the sixth seed right now in the Western Conference playoff standings. And their next game will be Friday in the same spot, same time against the Kings Friday. So I'm looking for the Mavs to go ahead and try to, you know, separate themselves right now. They're, they look like they're hungry. They look like they're in playoff mode. I'm looking for them to really chase it. Their team right now is building the cohesiveness that they're needing. Like I said, we've been on Jason Kidd's top. Let's go ahead and give him some props. Let's let's salute him for because, like I said, Putting Daniel Gafford in the starting lineup along with PJ Washington, and you bringing Derek Lively off the bench, bro. It's is is what that is, bro. And it's working for the Mavs. It's real working. Stars are up five three against the San Jose Sharks. They got another third period to go. As like I said, the Mavs they get their forty. What their forty five? Uh, no, not forty five. It's the forty third, forty third victory of the day. So, hey, y'all know what it is, man. So, in and off the show, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're going up on all DFW Sports. Look out for me this weekend. We'll have some real live game footage coming down for y'all opening the baseball season. So, y'all know what that is, how we're going to rock with the Rangers. 
Uh, the stars we're going to try to catch right here. And, you know, until we now nah, we'll probably just listen to them on the radio going to sleep. It's going to be a long night. It's still only Tuesday. So that's how that go. Make sure y'all tune in tomorrow. Um, it depends if I work late. If I don't, if I do work late, then make sure you catch me on the speaker app on Heart of Texas Sports on IE Sports Radio. Your direct feed that for all that sports between nine and ten. We're gonna just continue the same conversation, but it's right there with uh IE Sports Radio. So check me out there. Hopefully the stars will come through on the night that Dallas Sports is really popping. Tomorrow I want to get here and talk some more Ranger stuff, but if not, Thursday we'll be here live opening game night, man. For the World Series champs to, you know, defend their jewels. So that's how we going. I want to appreciate everybody for joining in. Ulysses Gua, appreciate you. Mr. Cowboy, always biggest salute to you. My man, Mikey, two guns. Appreciate you for joining in, man. Until the next time, I'll, I'll dig up on some more Cowboy news. I've been trying to, you know, keep it all together. But right now, the Stars and the Mavs, are, they're clicking right now. And we're getting ready for the Rangers. But... We'll keep talking Cowboys, and if, if you got anything y'all want to talk about, man, hit me up on X at Drewski Selfmade, or you can follow me on Instagram at Ish Drewski. Message me, man, and, I, you know, we can always talk about it. Bring it up. So it ain't nothing to it. So y'all know what this is. This is the Battleground of DFW. This is the Battleground of Sports Talks, DFW Sports Raps. We spit flavors for everybody that's in the back. You see it. You see the decor. Cowboys, Mavericks, Stars, Rangers, how y'all want to do it. I do Dallas Wings. We do FC Dallas. We going up in that thing, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, check me out, hit that notification bell. But it's a victory night for the Dallas Mavericks. We're going to take that going to bed, and hopefully the uh, the Stars will follow suit. Like I said, make sure you follow me on X at Drewski Selfmade. Follow me on Instagram, it's Drewski. The party continues. We're going to go ahead and chill. I look to come back to y'all in the next thrill. So y'all know what it is, you know. Ah, ah. Until the next time, man. Let's get live, man. Appreciate y'all. Y'all know I'm the one man, four stars and flavor of DFW sports. Do everything with love, baby, because love always wins. And around these parts, that's the law.